Longtime community advocate claims race may have been a factor at an announcement today on TSU's campus. After 11 years, Dr. Glenda Glover plans to step down when this at the end of this academic year. Meanwhile, state lawmakers have previously argued a change was needed. News Channel 5's Chris Davis shows us how we got here. I get right to the point. On the same day, freshmen are starting to move onto campus. I stand before you to announce my retirement as president of Tennessee State University at the end of the spring semester 2024. Dr. Glenda Baskin Glover announced she's preparing to leave her alma mater. Serving as president of TSU has been the honor of a lifetime. Words cannot express the emotions I have as I stand before you this morning. One of the emotions might be frustration. It has amazing alumni but right now, TSU is not a well-run organization. Earlier this year, the Tennessee Comptroller's Office released a scathing 82-page report blaming Glover for quadrupling the university's scholarship budget while not having enough housing to support it. It forced many students to live in hotels or find other means for housing. I want you to know we've heard you. We heard you. We're going to manage our enrollments to align with our housing capacity. Glover offered up solutions, but state leaders still called for her job. The problems that they've had there, I think that probably changes in order. And the Tennessee Black Caucus. But he's just flat wrong on this one. And allocated $2 million in the state budget to conduct a forensic audit of TSU's finances. And when the audit is in process, it's improper to even talk about it. Um, so, but well, no, that, that, had, that, that $2 million had absolutely nothing to do with my decision. I feel like the TSU for a long time has been under a tremendous attack. Longtime community advocate Reverend Enoch Fuzz thinks what happened is pretty clear. A big part of her stepping down and our losing her leadership has to do with the idiotic leadership that comes from our state capital. But Glover was far less pointed. That it's time for a new leader. It's time for us to... Uh, for me to pass on the baton. Instead, she pointed to all the new freshmen eager to move on to campus among her proudest accomplishments. One is making TSU a national brand. Uh, we're just known throughout the country. Chris Davis, News Channel 5. Thank you, Chris. So what comes next for Glover and TSU? Glover says she doesn't have another job lined up, but she hopes she can lend her voice to the national stage regarding equity and historically black institutions. TSU's Board of Trustees will be in charge of selecting her replacement.